It all started out as an average morning on an average day in the county jail. Guard Laptop and uh, Guard Canal were both sitting at the top. Weenmaw Laptop heard over the radio that one of his inmates that he was in charge of has to go on down to court trial, a.k.a. Liam. And uh, Liam, he just seemed like a regular inmate. You know, this happens all the time. After all, it is jail. This is where people wait when they're awaiting trial. So, you know, it happens all the time. Pretty normal thing that they got to do. They usually just tell him, you know, come to the door, cuff up, and uh, they just follow whatever they say. However, today was different. Liam was in a bad mood. And guess what? The guards didn't know that. But as per protocol, they, you know, told him, hey, Liam, it's time to go. Come on out the cell. And Liam said no. Usually everybody's like, all right, time to go. They're like, boom. They come up to the door. They're like, all right. But nope. He's like, you have to. It's time for your hearing. And he's telling him warning too now. You know, he was trying to be a little bit more understanding. And Liam's like, nope. Just straight up disrespectful. He does not care. I am not leaving this jail cell. So he says, Liam, don't let me call for the cell extraction team. This is your third warning. You got to cuff up to the door when the guard says come to the door. But Liam says, call him. He's calling him on his bluff. He said, call him. I dare you. And then Laptop's like, all right, I'm not bluffing. I'm going to go call them. So then he goes over and talks to Canel. He's like, boom, Canel's already on his radio telling them about this stuff that's happening. He's like, call them in. Bada bing, bada boom. Here comes the cell extraction team now. These guys were not playing laptop gloves up and he's ready to go extract him just in case he changed his mind at the last minute. But if he doesn't, it's about to be an absolute wrap. While the cell extraction team is starting to get suited up, laptop gives warning to all the other inmates that the entire pod is now in lockdown due to Liam being uncooperative and not coming out of his cell, hoping that one, peer pressure might persuade him to start becoming cooperative once he hears all the moans and groans and complaints of his fellow inmates. And two, to once again, just give him a third option, you know, give him more time that maybe he wants to change his mind now and hop out the cell on his own accord. But guess what? Liam is dancing in his cell. He doesn't care. Some of these guys are sleeping now. They're like, all right, I'm just going to go back to sleep. We're going to be here for a while. They already know the drill, especially if they're repeat offenders. They're like, this dude doesn't get it. The cert commander and also laptop, who was part of the cert team as well, went on into the fellow cert guards and told them basically what was about to happen, how they were about to extract somebody from a maximum security cell. But if you're wondering what cert stands for, C-E-R-T, it stands for cell extraction and recovery team. And so basically, they're the people that they call whenever they need a cell extraction. And he's basically telling them Commander Indom, as usual, is going to be leading the extraction and then they're going to head out. But Liam thought this was a game. He thought he could just say no to the guard. But guess what, Liam? This is jail. People need to use that cell. There's a guy waiting and booking to use that exact cell that Liam's supposed to be in because Liam is actually going to trial just so he can get sentenced to go to prison. And here come the cert team through the yard. And all the minimum and medium security prisoners that have a window cell are like, oh no, who's about to get extracted? Because they already know. They've already seen the team because just based on numbers alone, due to them having more people, it just happens more often in that minimum and medium security area. And let's just say they are not pleased when it happens to them, but they're kind of just glad it's happening to someone else. And here we go. The final stage, the actual room where the cell extraction is about to happen in. As you can see, man, they got people. They got double shields for both sides of the cell. They got a man with a toolbox, of course, the commander. They got people with all types of tools that they can use up on that cell. He already checked in the cell with thermal. And now, of course, he has to give them another warning. They're being very patient. They want to make sure, you know, everybody says a warning, warning, warning. But Liam says, I don't care about your warning. Come at me, bro. So guess what? They're about to come at you, bro. Be careful. Here is the first stage of the cell extraction. Basically where they tell them what exactly is going to happen to him if he refuses to leave the cell and comply with the cell extraction team's orders. The first stage though is going to be pepper balls. It's basically like pepper spray but just in a ball form so you don't have to go into his cell. They can shoot it from far away and it acts basically the same as pepper spray. It burns. You don't like it. It irritates them. However, nothing lethal, nothing permanent. There you go. Getting hit with the double pepper, ball, double pepper balls. He says, ow, and now, of course, it burns. He's feeling that burning sensation, but when they say up against the wall, he still says, no, I'm not going against that wall. Now it's time for stage two, the beanbag shotgun round. Basically, they're going to tell him up against the wall. 
If he doesn't go up against the wall, then guess what? He's going to get beanbag. So, as per usual, they ask him, get up against the wall. Boom. He gets beanbagged from before. They say, up against the wall again. Right now, and guess what he says? He says no. So, he gets hit again with a beanbag shotgun. And now, instead of cuffing up to the door, they want him on the wall so they can just cuff him up there because they're already at the door. They don't really care. They can keep the door open at this point. But either way, they're going to have to go in there and get him. It's just a matter of when he surrenders and gives up. All right, here is the next stage. Stage three, which is rubber bullets. If you've ever had someone throw an eraser at you, one of those pink erasers, or even like one of those white erasers right at you, you know, for like erasing pencil scribbling, it's not like for the whiteboard. Basically, it's like what that feels like when they throw it at you, but it's bigger. So it hurts a little bit more since it, you know, covers more surface area. But he says on the wall, boom. He says no. He gets hit with two rubber bullets. That has got testing. Look at that. They even got a nice projectile so it goes up and down. Usually it's used for long range type of stuff, but they can turn down the settings to make it be used for short range. And there he goes. Another warning and more rubber bullets. This guy does not want it, man. He does not care how much pain he has. He's not surrendering. And here is stage four extraction. One of the forward shield officers gives their shield on over to JB so that he can hold it. Meanwhile, he actually specializes in flashbangs and smoke grenades. So he grabs his tools that he specializes in from the toolbox and prepares to throw them in. But this is the most dangerous phase because they actually have to go into the cell. And here is his final warning before they throw in the smoke bomb and flashbang combo. Bang! There it goes and they all go rushing into the cell. But guess what? Liam is ready. He's ready to fight back. But in they go. Baton swinging pepper spray spraying they got like five guards batoning him liam's fighting off five guards six guards at a time meanwhile there's smoke in there as well trying to keep him off his balance and stuff like that and there he goes there goes the surrender but after that fight after all those batons let's just say liam is looking more puffed up than a puffer fish because he got absolutely beat with those batons he got those batons swinging at him so they got to bring him on over to the doctor's office or the jail nursing staff doctor staff so he can get checked out before he goes to trial so guess what he's gonna miss the trial anyways because he didn't want to go to his cell so i guess his goal of missing his trial so that he didn't get to go to prison i guess he accomplished that goal congratulations liam i hope you're happy now after they put liam in a wheelchair so that he doesn't have to walk over and they don't have to carry him over they basically wheel him on right through the yard so that every inmate can see exactly who the guy was that was going up against the cert team and there he goes, getting taken into the main building, following the nurse and the doctor so that he can get treated and make sure, you know, he's good to go for court. Hopefully the next day or maybe even next week, thanks to this uh, shenanigans and trying to do this extra stuff. But there you have it, guys. All it took was some bean backgrounds, some pepper balls, some rubber bullets, batons, flashbang, smoke grenade to finally get Liam into custody and get him out of the cell. And that was even with him kicking and screaming and fighting. But let's just say that uh, he'll be hospitalized for a couple of days due to all those batons and beanbags and pepper balls. It's all going to hit him eventually once his adrenaline runs out.